Alright, welcome to the vlog today. Today, um, I'm just gonna do a big, like, one-shot thing, so I'm sorry. But I realized, so in, uh, in, t in these weeks of me filming this, this documentary, or this passion project documentary I'm working on, um, I realized it's gonna be really hard to vlog, because it's like, film a bunch, and then ingest footage. I'll get, I'll let you know what that means in a little bit. But ingest footage, and then go back out and shoot, ingest footage, and just kind of bouncing back and forth with that. So vlogging is a little bit difficult. Um, so what I decided to do for this week, um, if you're not a filmmaker, you might not like this. I, I know some of you are, so I'm gonna give you like my tips on how I do like larger, not just a vlog and a simple video, like a larger scale video. Um, so, um, and how I bring like a whole team along with me without them physically here. Um, so, uh, that's going to be what this week's about. Some, like, film tips and tricks. Alright, roll the intro. Alrighty, so in today's episode, um, I'm going to talk about getting comfortable with your subject. This is the camera, this is the rig I'm going to be filming the whole documentary on. It is our basic red camera that we normally use, except uh, i got now two monitors, one for focus, one for, for me. i got a side handle, i got a mic. The microphone is actually going to be another mic on the other side, you can't see that. I have a map box, I have an ND filter, I have an, uh, obviously the lens, um, I have a whole shoulder mount, and then it's not on here. i got the got the handles too. And so, to us non-filmmakers, this looks big, and this looks intimidating. Um, I just kind of broke it down, basically, for you, so um, it's not that crazy. Um, but to obviously a non-filmmaker, it's, it's huge, it's enormous, and it's a little scary to look at if you're looking at it, like I am looking at this camera. And so, like one thing I do um, to get this subject, and in this case it's my grandmother, so I know her, but it's still, even if you know the person forever, to bring something like this into a room really changes the dynamic of how that person interacts with you. Um, so today was one of those days where I just wanted to sit down and we, we did, I kind of, I gently asked some questions that um, I'm going to ask in a documentary to kind of get her mind thinking about them, but it was very much of like, a practice run for her without me telling her what it was. It just kind of like let it happen naturally, um, asking her some questions about her childhood or about where she grew up. Um, and that really let her let go and not be so like, there's a camera I have to perform, I have to answer, I have to be spot on. Um, because the style of this documentary, I described it, it's called Cinema Verite. Cinema Verite? I think, how they, I think that's how you pronounce it. And <clears throat> that is kind of just a fly on the wall. So the interview is a very conversational based interview. So one thing I was telling her is like, these interviews are very much of like, just you and me having a conversation. It's gonna be, it's obviously a little different because we have, you know, this in the room with us, but that's it. There's nothing, nothing crazy. And so, <clears throat> so um, in order for me to get her comfortable with me just asking questions and, and her responding to those questions. And then when I bring the camera in the room, it doesn't seem as intimidating. You just kind of continue your conversation. So one, one other thing is like, I like to, it's a little awkward because you have to say, when, when you answer the question, can you use the uh, question in your answer? And so I, like a really good example for that would be like, what year were you born in? And if she says, well, I was born in 1930. Like, that's perfect. I was born in, like, it tells you what the year is for. But if I ask the question of, and what year were you born in? And she goes, 1930. My voice isn't in a documentary, so all you would hear in a documentary is, 1930. 1930 what? 1930 what? Well, what was in 1930? Is that just a number? Is it your favorite number? Is it a room number? Like, what? So, I, so that's a little awkward because in conversation, we don't do that. We don't repeat the question in our answer, we just kind of answer. And I mean, sometimes naturally we do. I'll put the blooper of me describing this at the end of the video. Um, but, um, so naturally, it's just a natural thing to do, but sometimes it's not. Like, 
if you're talking about, like, your parents. You don't go, well, my parents were blah, 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 blah. Normally, like, well, it was cool because we got to do some really fun things. Like, you just kind of pick right up into the, answer, into the answer and not repeat that question sometimes. I mean, I know a lot of people who do, and I mean, I do it sometimes. So, um, if you're looking at making a documentary like me, if you're looking at filmmaking with an interview style, talk to the subject before. Don't have a camera even in the building. Just... Don't even show them the camera, don't even think about it, and don't even think about the questions that you're gonna ask. Maybe come up with new ones, and while you talk, like, while she was talking today, I, I was mentally taking notes, and I wrote the notes down later, about stuff that I wanna bring up later, and I think um, in those pre-interviews is very, very important. Um, <clears throat> uh, there are some interview techniques that I use. Um, some are very untraditional, some are a little bit new, and a little more traditional, but I'm gonna share those guys with you all week, so I'm gonna be doing these kind of like interview, sit down, me describing a behind the scenes thing, and I think it might help you guys as filmmakers kind of do that. So um, hopefully this was helpful about how to get your subject comfortable with an interview. Um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Tomorrow I'll be talking about ingesting footage, um, what that means, what how I do it, um, and how, along with that, I'll do how I bring in a team without physically bringing the team. It drives down costs, basically. Anyways, thank you guys, um, thank you guys and I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace. So, when I ask the question of what year were you born in? They don't go, I was born in 1930. You know, that, sorry. <laughs>